Hi, everybody. Hello again. This is the second part of our lesson. The first part was about the five senses. I hope you remember it was about the five senses. And let's just have a look at what those were again. Let me just make my screen bigger again for you. One minute. Here we go. Good. Do you remember we talked about sight or seeing, hearing, smell, taste, and touch? Today we're going to talk about someone who had an amazing ability. It's a story. Some people don't have all these senses or they don't work properly for everyone. If you can't see, what do we call that? What do we say if someone can't see? We say they're blind, blind, they can't see. And if they can't hear, what do we say? Do you know the word? We say they're deaf, deaf. They can't hear and they speak with their hands often because they can't hear. Can't see is blind. Can't hear is deaf. Okay, so we were going to look at someone with a special ability. Do you know who this is? Most people know. It's Spider-Man, yes. He has special abilities. He can walk on a wall. He can swing on a web. But he's not the one we're going to talk about. The one we're going to talk about has a name like this one. This man's called Batman. And like Spider-Man was named after an animal, Batman is named after an animal. This animal called a bat. This is a bat. But our story is about a man, not this Batman, but this man, a man they call the real Batman. The real Batman. Why? Why is his name the real Batman? I'm going to tell you the story, and then we'll see if you can understand why he is called the real Batman. Batman. I'm just going to get rid of this screen. There we are, back in my room. Good. So, we're going to have the story of the real Batman. Listen carefully. This is the story of Daniel Kish. Daniel Kish was blind from the age of one. But he learned to see using his tongue and his ears. As he walked, Daniel made a click with his tongue. Then he listened for an echo. What's an echo? An echo is a sound that comes back to you. You shout, hello, and the sound comes back from a wall, from a building. Hello, hello, like that. That's an echo. So he listened for an echo. If the echo was loud, he knew an object was near. 
if the echo was not loud, he knew the object was far away. Daniel is now very good at this. He can click his tongue two or three times every second. He can even ride a bicycle, something most blind people find impossible. Bats, do you remember the little animal? Bats use a similar technique to find their way in the dark. For this reason, people call Daniel the real Batman. Okay, good. Let me share my screen. We're just going to look at the story again. And I'm going to ask you to fill in the words of the story. So here he was, Daniel Kish, the real Batman. This is the story of Daniel Kish. Oh, it says a uh, Daniel Kish. He's not a uh, Daniel Kish, he is Daniel Kish. This is the story of Daniel Kish. Daniel Kish was blind from the age of, do you remember? How old was he? From the age of one. Good. But he learnt to see using his tongue and his ears. Daniel made a click with his tongue as he walked good. Then he listened for an echo, a sound that comes back. If the echo was huh, loud, he knew an object was near. If the echo was not loud, he knew the object was, what's the opposite of near? Near and far away. Daniel is now very, what do we say when somebody can do something well? now very good at this, he can click his tongue two or three times every, not minute, what begins with S, two or three times every, smaller than a minute, every second. He can even, what can you see in the picture? He can even ride a bicycle, something that most blind people find impossible. He can even ride a bicycle something that most blind people find impossible. Who uses a similar technique as the same kind of idea? Bats use a similar technique to find their way in the 
When do you see bats? What time of day? It's at night, yeah. So in the dark, in the dark. For this reason, people call Daniel. What do they call him? What's his name? The real Batman. Okay. And that story just shows even if you find something difficult, you can learn to overcome it. You can learn to solve that problem or find a way around that problem, like Daniel. Fantastic. And that's the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And I hope I'll see you again. Thank you for coming. Bye for now.